Hello all, this is Sami. This is actually my first YouTube video in person, so uh, I don't know how it will go, but let's let's see. Anyway, what I wanted to show you today is this new Strat kind of guitar that I recently built. And uh, this body is totally kind of my my own idea of how a Strat body should look like. Uh, I didn't use any sp uh, specifications, uh, official specifications of a strat to make this one. It's totally made by me and it's kind of my my own design for the strat style. Uh, I had the neck of this guitar in some other body before this one, but that body wasn't, it was really bad. Uh, it was made of two di separate pieces of oak like oak boards and uh, that didn't sound too well so I wanted wanted to make a better body I got my hands on a, a quite nice piece of older so that's how this guitar body came by uh, now this finish of this guitar is <laughs> it's some cherry wood uh, paint and uh, it looks quite antique maybe someone would say that it's like furniture but I, I, I don't know I think it's quite nice my skills for making a proper guitar finish is not so great yet but I, I'm trying to get there now about this guitar it's a normal strut like uh, pick card and three single coil pickups. These are made by Fender Teosa CS52s, which gives this guitar kind of very vintage kind of sound, suitable for very old school rock and roll kind of music. And the trim of this guitar is a bit different than what you would normally see. It's a two point tremolo, but it's like a normal trim as you can see there are these normal holes for screws there but I modified it a little bit to make it uh, make it floating so this is totally floating trim and it's it stays in tune quite well not as well as what would be with the locking with the locking uh, like what you have in the Floyd Rose, I don't have that, it's a normal nut. But anyway, mm. uh, the only modification for a normal st strut kind of configuration is that I put these two pickups in series. So it's sounding a bit like a humbucker because these pickups were so, uh, I think, so. Uh, kind of bright, especially this bridge pickup, so I wanted to uh, make this sound like a more like a humbucker so that I can also play some uh, harder kind of sounds with, with some uh, more gain out of these pickups. But I don't know, let's hear this and tell me what you think. To me it's pretty okay. It doesn't have the world's greatest sustain, but that's not really what I would expect from an old style guitar. So it's, it has a really unique sound compared to my other other guitars over there. So I wanted to make this one this really old old style guitar. So let's hear how how it sounds like. <coughs> So this is the kind of the two pickups in humbucker mode and uh, quite low gain even even though they are in series so my amp is not breaking breaking the clean sound when I'm playing. <laughs> So that was the humbucker mode uh, 
single chorus and this is the middle pickup on its own. like this middle and the uh, bridge pickup in in serious the sound is fuller and a little bit more output and that's how I want to play it most of the time okay let's do some gain and distortion from the amp Alright, and now then steal the tears to freeze. see there's a quite big difference between the single coil and with these ones in series so a little bit more gain on there um, okay and maybe I will then lastly try some heavier stuff this is not very suitable for heavy heavy rock but let's see how it sounds yeah and some humming and that's just because yeah, these 52s are all in the same polarity and the s same uh, uh, direction of the warnings of the pickup, pick pick so that's why it's got quite a lot of hum coming through, but well, that's the way how it is. <laughs>
guess that's it. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions about this humble guitar, please send me some questions. I try to answer the best way I can. So bye.